die dpx joined today by slash hello it's me and ml i'm back hello uh, and whoever else decides to join us today. We haven't done an episode of Chill with the Meekast in some time. But, uh, yeah, I guess we've ha- just been slacking on it. But uh, we'll try to get some uh, going soon. But uh, either way, we got a new one. And it's a, a pre-recorded one. And it's a tier list one. Because uh, Deadpool and Wolverine just uh, passed a billion dollars. Um, we figured let's rank every single billion dollar movie ever released. Um, so... Yeah, let's just jump right into this. We haven't seen all of these, but, um, yeah, we got S, A, B, C, D, F, and haven't seen. So, yeah, we'll just, uh, start. G. This is an alphabetical H-I-J-K. order. Shut up. This is an alphabetical order, mostly, although I, I try to group some, like, the franchises together. Like, uh, you got, like, some of the Fast and Furious movies and some of the, uh, like, Pirates movies are separated for some reason, so I group them together. But other than that, they're, like, they're in alphabetical order. So, first up, we got the 2019 remake of Aladdin. This movie... Personally, I'd put it in C. Because... I think it's alright. Yeah, like, I would never watch this instead of watching the original. The original is a classic. Um, but... Like, and I thought, like, this, along with The Lion King when it came out, which we'll get to later, uh, when those two came out, I, I originally thought, like... You know, this is, like, awful. Like, how can you get worse than this? But seeing how, you know, the Mulan remake and then the Pinocchio remake... The the Disney live-action remakes uh, can get a whole lot worse than this. Uh, there's not really much to this one, My bad, though. guys. What? That was me. I uh, made the movie. Oh, you made the movie. Okay. Um, yeah, I made the movie. Sorry about that, I co directed. Okay, so, um, thoughts, anybody? Uh, I mean, I think I Will Smith is the, the fuck did you say? Ah, uh, you didn't say I think anything. Will Smith is the, I think Will Smith is the genie was, like, a decent casting decision, yeah, even if it was, like, memed. But, I mean, he's not Robin Williams. Yeah. And, um, like... Will Smith, I think, was the best part of this movie, but no, yeah, not saying it's not saying much. And ML, I, I feel would, like I feel like you said, uh, yeah, don't have. Any. I haven't seen it, so no okay. thoughts. I just know Will Smith is a genie. That's right. Yeah, I wish Madagascar was here so I could call it Madagascar, even though it's good. All right, next up, we got um. This Obama. is what I think it is. Yeah, another live-action Disney remake. This, okay, uh, my, my phone just buzzed. Uh, shut the fuck up. Um, okay, uh, this actually start. This kind of started the Disney live-action remake. So we got Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I've not seen this one. I can't say I've seen this one. Any of you guys see this one? I thought it was all I right. I, have, yeah. I mean, it was nothing, it was nothing crazy, but I thought it was decent enough. Uh, so where would it go? Um, probably B tier. I think it's it's more creative. It's um, you know, I don't know either B or C. I, I thought it was fine, but uh, I don't think people shared my sentiments. There's a there's some cringe stuff. Sometimes it drags a little bit. I just put it in C, I guess. You know, right. I thought it was decent, but all right, ML. Yeah, we'll, we'll I haven't C. seen it in a while, so. So uh, I remember like B. Yes, I go to C. Oh yeah, okay. You guys, one of you guys said B, and one of you guys said C. So we gotta decide. Oh my god. I guess we're not deciding. All right. Just, okay, I'm you're gonna, gonna hold I, that I, endlessly. I, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, shake it like this, and I'm gonna let go because my eyes are closed right now. Like you have no way of knowing, but I'm telling you, my eyes are closed. And all right. Oh, it froze. Okay, it's in B. Um, all right, B tier it is. Uh, it almost went into A tier for a second there. Did it actually? I like. I'm telling you, I actually yeah. did not see. Um, next up, Aquaman. Shockingly enough, the only DC EU movie to make a billion dollars, and I'd say this is another B tier just because, like, it, I remember it was a lot of fun. It was just so like it kind of knows that 
Aquaman's inherently a bit of a silly character, so, like, it plays into that, and it's just very goofy, um, and that was a lot of fun, but I don't really remember much from it, it's, it's weird, it's just so weird that this is the one DCEU movie that made a billion dollars, uh, or even, like, the fact that it made a billion dollars in general, because it's really, like, how many people do you know say that Aquaman's their favorite superhero movie, you know? Um, it's mine. Okay. Um, it is not yours. Yeah, I'm, it's not yours, but I'd give it a B. How do you know? How do you know? Because of so, the, I, I'm telling you, you like other movies on this, other superhero movies on this list better. I got that. Okay, but uh, I'd give it a B. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, B is fine. I, I think I B is fair. <laughs> Definitely ahead of Alice in Wonderland. All right. I'll give it a B. Sure. Next up, we got Avatar. Um, this is Avatar is a weird franchise. Uh, what? This is the first. One. I like it. Yeah, Avatar is a weird franchise because it's like, it, it's like the highest, it, like two of the three of the like highest grossing movies of all time is within this franchise, but like, it's not like. You don't see people dressing up as Avatar characters for Halloween. You don't see people dressing up as Avatar characters at, like, Comic-Con. Like, the franchise doesn't really have much of a cultural significance, you know? It's just... Mm, that's not fair, D DPX. No, I'm people not... People just I'm, don't like, want to paint themselves blue, DPX. You can, get a, you, like... can, you can get a blue costume, though, you know? But, like... That's kind of... It's kind of, um... Throwing in the towel a little bit. It's kind of conceding. <laughs> But also, I'll give like, I feel like this, yeah. like this, along with the, uh, like the second one, like they're not that memorable because it's just like the, the visually they are outstanding. But I feel like the second one, I was very high on the second one when it came out, and like I, I was everything I was saying about the mo uh, the two movies, um, I, I I was saying about the first one when the second one came out, but even the second one's a little forgettable but i i'm i'm not ent entirely sure where to rank avatar so uh ml you said you'd give it an a sure um, or a b uh slash how about you uh, d d um, i think i don't know i feel like b is probably where it should be all right see what i did there yeah uh i guess i guess we'll give it a b um Next up, Avatar The Way of Water. This is better. I remember, like, there is a lot of... Like, like the third act was basically an entire fight scene. And it was really... It was a really well-done fight scene. Uh, and, um... But yeah, I think it just has the same problems as... Uh, not necessarily problems as the first Avatar, but just, like... Just a lack of cultural significance and just being all that memorable because... Like, I don't know, it's it, it just, it's an experience when you go to the theater and see it, but, like, after that, it's not really, I don't know, I guess I would have to put it with the first Avatar. What do you guys think? Sure. This movie. So, Slash, you say you never saw this movie? Yeah. Alright. That's and cute. Ml, and ML, you agree with me that it's B tier, right? Or, yeah, sure. Okay. Seems like you it's think cool. it's just like, you know, nothing special. It's, it's like kind of forgettable. Yeah, it seems like you think it should be an A tier, which is fine. But I th but I guess we're agreeing. I, to disagree. Or B, I don't care. So all right. Um, next up, Avengers. Uh, I think S. What do you guys think? This is the first one. Hello? It's either A or S tier. Hello. Okay. Hi. You guys weren't responding for a while, but, uh, so, I give it an S, just because, like, I mean, it doesn't even seem like that crazy now, but when this came out, like, it was, it was crazy, it was like, there weren't that many movies where you had, like, a whole bunch of other solo movies come together in one big movie, you know, that didn't really happen too often, um, so that's probably why this made a billion, um, but it's also a really solid movie, uh, I give it an S. I'm just gonna let go and drop it an S. What do you guys think? You should get an A for Avengers. Shut the fuck 
down. What do you guys think? Come on. Uh, well, I, I think S is fine. I, I think I personally would have it in A, but I think S is good enough. Alright. Um, next up, we have Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh... I feel like kind. Uh, I'll, I feel like time has been very kind to this one because I remember when it first came out, a lot of people were like not high on it because it was like a movie that was all over the place. But I think over time, like people just realize like, no, this is a really good movie. It's still like a little unfocused, but you know, I think. Uh, and, and it's very similar to the first movie. Like it's basically it basically has the same exact structure, but I think it's really good. Um. I don't know about A tier. Maybe top of B? No. Or, or maybe A. I don't know. Because I think it's better than the movies that are in a, uh, B tier. But what do you guys think? I kind of... I actually disagree. I think the other movies are better with the really? exception of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I feel like Aquaman... I feel like it was a more focused movie and I have a problem when stuff is all over the place and there are some jokes in... Age of Ultron that were really unfunny to me, especially the um some of the Ultron jokes and um, the whole a Black Widow falling on Hulk thing. That was kind of I feel, feel like stupid. I don't know though, but ML? it's definitely B tier. All right, ML. Mo. I guess we'll give it a B. <laughs> um. Do you agree? No, yeah, I, agree. I said that. Uh, we didn't hear you, but um, I don't quite agree that it's B tier. I feel like I, it's weird. I don't you think, think I don't quite think it's A, but like I feel like it's definitely like better than the movies that are in B. I I, I don't know. Like I think it's it's definitely better. Think, th like I, I I guess you could maybe make a case for Aquaman, but like it's I think it's better than Avatar. It's better than Alice in Wonderland. Although I haven't seen that movie, so actually, never mind. Uh, I forgot that. No, I, I agree seen with that you. Um, Alice in Wonderland fucking sucks. Even though I said it was okay like five minutes ago. Yeah. Next up. Next up, one one we unfreeze. Next up, we got Avengers: Infinity War. I think it's another S tier. Um, this one is S. Yeah. Any. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going Just see. Yeah. Um. Cool. The pacing, I think, in this movie is so good. The The one problem that I do have with the movie is I feel like some of the characters are slightly out of character in certain places and times within the film. Like, um, you know, Peter, a Peter. Um, Thor is out of character, but he's funny, so I don't care. Um, and there's just, you know, some stuff going on, but, well, I mean, with the, uh, with the characters, but I feel like overall it's a very solid movie, the pacing is really good, it feels like, kind of like, all of the worlds we knew separately coming together, kind of. Yeah, like, it was, yeah. like, I remember just how awesome it was to see the Avengers, <clears throat> Just to see them interact with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then you throw in, like, Doctor Strange in there and Spider-Man, who haven't really interacted with them before. You know, like, that was really cool, I remember. And then also what they did with Thanos. Kind of making him the... Thanos. Kind of making him, like, kind of the, the POV character, I thought was really cool. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's definitely an S tier. And I think it might be the best MCU movie. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I am never sure about that when I say that, but I think it might be, in my personal opinion. It's either that or this next movie. Uh, Avengers Endgame. Uh, once we unfreeze, uh, I think it's another S tier. I don't want to just crowd the S tier with Marvel movies. Um, I'm just putting it in there, but if you guys can make a case for why it's not S tier, then I'll move it down. But, uh, uh, I I don't want to crowd uh, S tier with uh with Marvel movies, but I, I think these like uh, like Avengers, Avengers: Infinity War, and Avengers: Endgame are all S tier. Um, slash. <clears throat> uh, how do you know that I disagreed? Um, I think this is A tier. To be honest with you, 
I mean, the movie isn't paced nearly as well as the other two Avengers films. There's, you know, it's very funny. I feel like in this movie there's more downtime, but not, like, in a good way. Like, sometimes downtime is good, like, so your movie's not all action. I feel like in this case it's kind of, like, unnecessary. And, you know, this might, this might piss a couple people off, but the, um... The fight scene at the end isn't actually, like, that good if you don't watch, like, here's my problem with it. I feel like it's very un unfocused at the end. Like, the beginning part of it where everyone comes in through the portals is, like, S-tier cinema. It's very cool. But then I feel like it kind of goes a little all over the place, and it just starts, like flinging shots of characters here and there, whereas in the, like, first Avengers film, we had this, and even in Endgame, but mainly in the first Avengers film, we had this, the shot that was, like, the shot of the movie with, um, I'm fighting all of the Chitauri and it, like, cutting between all the different members who were, like, kind of fighting as a team. In Endgame, I feel like it's more so everyone's just there to be there, if that makes sense. I don't know. I think it's a very well-made movie, and it's a very good conclusion. Conclusion, um, but I feel like it's not quite as good as the other two, and that's just my personal opinion. If you guys feel differently about it, personally, you know. I'd say the culmination of like eleven years of movies. And, We're rating the movie, and, not I know, I know, the history, but, or it, the movie. It, but, but the movie is a culmination of eleven years of Your like fucking a story. Culmination. Fuck you. And I think, like, everything had, like, a great payoff. You know, you had, I, I, I think the third act was a masterpiece, honestly. I, I, I mm-hmm. understand what you're saying, but I don't personally agree. ML, uh, you, you be the tiebreaker. Does Avengers Endgame go into S or A tier? Uh... Again, it's been a while since I've seen this thing, so... For you like, decide, I was, remember I Professor thinking, Hulk. Oh, so, so, I... I feel like it was a... I feel like, like some parts, like, drag on a little too much for me. And I can't, I can't understand why, because, you know, they want to, like, fair a lot of things in, but... The overall, like, the final fight scene, you know, it's it's pretty good if, like, you know, you're a Marvel fan, but it's, like, for, like, a stand... Like, I guess, like, a standalone movie. It's kind of like, you know... It's kind of like, was it like? I think it's like a little like draggy a bit. So, yeah, but I think uh, maybe eight tier. Yeah, you've pointed, you've poisoned his mind. Slash, um, all right, eight tier it is. Rewatch the movie it's without. Been a while since I watched it. It's a movie. I'm, no, I'm like, just saying, like that movie is great, but if you watch like the finale of a soap opera without watching any of the other episodes, like, you know, as a movie on its own, that's what we're kind of, like, ranking here. I could, you know, like, oh, I'll rewatch saying, like, it. By itself, like, you know, it will have a long movie. That's all I'm saying. I think it's a very good, I, th- I do think it's a very well done movie, I just don't think it's yeah. an S-tier movie. Yeah. Alright. Well, moving on. This next movie, on the other hand, Barbie. Oh, Barbies. Barbie, okay, I was, like, not excited for this movie at all, but, like, the trailers got me when it said, if you love Barbie, this movie's for you. If you hate Barbie, this movie's for you. Not that I hate Barbie, but, you know, I'm not a girl, so I never connected with Barbie. But I'm like, okay, so this more is clearly, like... More of an Alan like, guy. <laughs> yeah, more of an Allen guy. Uh, this is, but this like is clearly se- very self-aware that you can't really make an unironic Barbie movie in the 2020s. Um, I think it's a oh, solid you, movie. You can mm, unironic? No, you can't. I mean, if you could, but it won't be good. Um, I think this is A tier, uh, honestly. I a- I actually agree, even though it, even though it's a massive B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean um, this movie is really good this is a really good movie i mean there's some parts in it there's so i feel that, like um whenever we cut to like will ferrell and all the mattel stuff i feel like 
the movie like had to like basically pause and just let them catch up to the rest of the movie if you know what i mean but like other than that like i mm-hmm. think the movie was well paced and everything sorry to interrupt you there that was just the thing Yo, i didn't like you're on my list now i don't know what that means yeah i mean it's a good movie the um the set design is mm-hmm. geek it's very colorful I heard a story that they like exhausted pink the pink paint supply of somewhere. Really? For this set, I heard that. Damn. I don't know how true that is, though. All right. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I thought it was a very good movie. Yeah. ML thoughts. Uh, that was. Yeah, I think it's a really funny movie, and it's also like, like the actors, uh, Margaret Robbie and. Uh, his name, the guy who played Ken. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling, my king. Austin, so, I thought, you know, they were, they were really well done with the character. And, you know, I also think, you know, I had that like, pretty good, like, like message and theme in. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think so it's, it's like, kind of yeah, funny. Here. Yeah, it is oh, a funny movie. You were done. Yeah. All right, next up. Um, I also thought, wait, hold on. I thought it was re- really funny how barbie was just like it's okay ken i'm s- you didn't mean to unleash patriarchy on the barbies mm-hmm. it's just like such a weird fucking way for the movie to go but it felt natural yeah um next up beauty and the beast the live action remake from uh 2017 i think it was uh oh my I did god s- it's obi-wan kenobi i did see this one um but it's almost like i didn't see this one because i don't remember a goddamn thing it's like I think it's a C tier. I think I gotta put it with Aladdin, um, cause it's a I guess it's a fine movie. It's like a, sh- a scene by scene remake of the first one, uh, you know. But yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. If you've seen the first one, you've seen this one. But like the first one's just better. Um, thoughts, anyone? All right, no I haven't thoughts. Seen this movie. Okay, um, next up, I can't even, oh, Black Panther, I think this movie's Ooh. a tad overrated, I don't, like, I thought, oh, not, now you've done it, no, 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 I, okay, hear me, I, I thought being nominated for Best Picture was a hell of a reach, but, to say it's a bad movie, it's not a bad movie, it's a good movie, A tier, maybe even, um, thoughts? I would agree with that. Yeah, you thought I was gonna like uh, no, tell I didn't. a scorcher, but uh, it's called a joke. Um, but yeah, I think like when it comes to the Marvel movies, like this movie's very like thematically rich. You know, it's like, and you have a very interesting villain with Killmonger, and even though he loses at the end, it's like he still kind of impacts the way T'Challa like wants to run his like wants to be a king. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's interesting. I just think um, CG is a little iffy, but overall it's a, it's a solid movie. A bit overrated, are but you refer- a solid movie. Are you referring to the video game cutscene inside of the Vibranium Mine? I'm thinking of the third act. Never mind. Yeah. ML, do you have thoughts? Uh, yes, yeah, so once where I'd spend... Uh, like a long time since I've seen this movie, but, but I feel like it was a, I feel like one of the jokes, like the word, those jokes they trying to make, was kind of like, you know, like cringy at the time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like some of the jokes were kind of just like, eh, like it's not, it's not like that. Typical, oh, you know, I like, forgot uh, about, the, they made like a what, Marvel. they made a what are those joke in this movie. Yeah, that's what I said, so. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, so. Automatic, yeah, the, automatic like, F tier. Stupid. The humor is kind of like, the, eh, like in this movie, but you say it's kind of like, you know, that sometimes, you know, that Mario has like a good, pretty good like sense of humor, mm-hmm. right? Some kind of has like, like a very cringy, like something you don't really expect from Marvel. So, but like, besides that, you know, the story's pretty good though. The main villain's amazing. He's a, well, he's not amazing, but like, you know, he's, he's a really good done villain. He's a great guy. I'd love Shut to up. go get dinner with him. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, I also like the character was the Steve Tyler, like, and like Chadwick Boseman's performance, like, you know, is really well done. Mm-hmm. Got, like, a 
So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll probably give it eight here. Yeah. All right. I think that one of those jokes brings it down a lot. So, and by, I, I mean, like, probably like a rank. So, eight here. Yeah. All right. Next up uh, is Captain America Civil War. Um, I, uh, I love this movie. Like, this was the first time a movie came out, and I saw it in the theater, like, three times. Uh, just because it was just really cool to see, um, just all these characters coming together. Spider-Man being introduced was, like, this was the movie that introduced Spider-Man to this universe. Like, that's fucking awesome. And we got still, we still got people debating today which side was right. Um, I, I want to give this movie an S tier, but I'll, what do you guys have to say? Maroon. Um, I don't want to give it S tier because, you know, I don't want to give all the Marvel movies like S tier, but I feel as a. Yeah, I think this is a movie that's really well done. Like, kind of like a split between, like, you know, like the Avengers, you know, like their, like their friendship, kind of, I guess. Mm-hmm. Their friendship. So, you know, it's cool to you know, see, like, like different mindsets, you know, that like clash. And, you know, kind of like. It's kind of like, kind of. I guess, like, kind of like a lead up to, like, you know, like, I think Infinity War, like, kind of like, you know, like, them, like, spinning apart, and, you know, kind of like, lead up to that story a bit, so. Yeah. It's kind of interesting to see, like, also, like, Spider Man, with, like, Tom Holland's, like, introduction to Tom Holland's Spider Man was, like, pretty cool. Like, how do you did that? And, yeah, I think it's, it's A tier. Like, I, I'm trying to think, like, like thinking back to, like, if, like, there's any, like, flaws with it, but... I mean, it's, it's pretty... It's fine the way it is, you know. It's pretty, it's a very good movie. Okay. Um, I still think it's S. Slash, what do you think? Um... Uh, what is going on? Um, I think it's A. I'm sorry, DTX. I know you must hate me. But I feel just, like the I, other two movies up there are just way better. Like, all right. this movie is very good. I would say it might, it might just be the best A tier, depending on what your thoughts are on Endgame. But, bro, I, I think both know. of these movies, both Endgame and Civil War, should be. An S, but it's okay, you know, this is a, t a group effort, you know, I see Slash poisoned the mind of ML, and now ML has poisoned the mind of Slash, but it's okay. Um, I swear. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Let's move on, because we're, we're now on C, and we got 55 movies to uh, talk about in total. So, uh, Captain Marvel. Um, uh, now, this was... Captain Marvel. Th th this came out when, like... The MCU was on a high, like in like basically peak popularity, which is why it made a billion dollars. It overperformed, but like, you know, it's kind of mid. You know, I might even be in D tier, but for now, I'll put it in C. Has, have any of you guys seen Captain Marvel? I know, slash. I know you I haven't. Saw. ML. I saw it. It was you know. I, yeah, it was kind of like we were expecting, I guess, like a little too much for some, you know, because it came out like when MCU was like, it was like right after Infinity War, I believe, right? This movie came out. It was like sometime yeah, after that. Yeah, it was that. like in between Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah. Honestly, I think, like, I think... Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, it was like kind of like between like that like awkward phase between like, those two. So, yeah, it was like, it's kind of like man, like I don't, like I don't hate it, but you know, it's like nothing, nothing special. Like kind of like was it, I think some of the jokes landed. You know, the the actor on her name who plays her, oh. Captain, pretty funny. Um, what yeah, you I don't. I don't like, what? There's like some noise coming from you. The, 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 are you watching something? I think he's playing. I think he's playing Valorant. Yeah. Um, okay. Um. Honestly, I think so, like, yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm but like, like the story's like nine. I I might. You cannot. Mm. Really? What? No, I haven't seen the movie. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. 
I don't, it's it's a forgettable movie, but I don't think it's like overly offensive or anything, you know. Yeah. We'll put in C for now, but oh, we'll see later. This the one scene I have seen from this movie is the is the Nick Fury yeah, eye I, scene yeah, in that movie. I knew you were gonna say that. Um, yeah, that was you fucking we'll stupid. See later, you say we'll see later. The yeah. last time I lost an eye, I trusted someone. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. Yo, know, what a badass line! And he and he lost a fuck. He he, he, tr- he trusted a cat. It's like, was so stupid. Next oh, up, come here, cat. Next up, the S, Dark Knight S. S, 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 yeah, S. S, 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 S. Objectively, S, S. Ex- objectively, might even be the best S tier, but um, I like objectively. The DC new film too. Yeah, no, the best. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the best DC film, like of yeah. any DC movie. Uh, I agree with that. But yeah, this was like this kind of like like this and uh, the first Iron Man came out in the same year and kind of like revolutionized like the superhero movie genre. Do we have any like any argue uh, arguments against this being in S tier? No, no. Um, I don't. I can't think of any. Okay, um, you could just say no. Don't you don't have to think of any. But, well, um, I was trying to, I was trying to scare you. You don't have to be a contrarian, though. But um, I, it's sequel though. Not being a contrarian, I didn't have an argument. The sequel though, The Dark Knight Rises. Mm, it's not a bad movie. This movie, but, like, it's like a disappointing this like this... follow up. You know. What are you gonna say? The thing with this movie is, I feel like everyone was so excited to finally get. A Batman trilogy that they kind of just were like, okay, this movie's good just because of in turn how good the Dark Knight was, and also just the fact that it was finally a complete tri- trilogic tr- trilogy of the Batman. You know, one thing I have, um, I like I said, one guess. thing I have with it, the movie, yeah, I mean, it's like something I've always had a problem with is the voice. Christian Bale uses, which I know it's not a thoughts, probably not direction. It was like the voice, so it's like I can't really, I can't take that that voice seriously. Like it's so like stupid. Are you talking about Bane? No, no, no I, I don't know. The Batman voice that Christian okay. Bale does. I don't. I, I didn't find a problem with that, it. but I, I I did I did not like it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, this one I mean, felt I don't like think the voice is good. I certainly have a problem with that movie. That's it. This one, that, f- I remember that the trilogy. That's Sla- Slash, you said that it's like, yay, we got a Batman trilogy, and people kind of drank the Kool Aid with that. It almost felt like that's like it's a rare instance where Christopher Nolan. It kind of felt like he was just like, all right, we'll just get this done, you know, because it has like some issues that the the first two movies like avoided. But it's not a bad movie by any means. It's uh, but it's one of the Nolan's weaker films. I don't, I don't I don't know where to put this. I feel like. I don't know. What, what, would, what would you guys say? Oh, Jesus. I'll still get it. I've seen I'll have. No, I'm still getting it. S? Sure. I don't no. think it's an S. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think it's an S. I think it's. I don't. I think it's about the same as um, Age of Ultron for completely different reasons, to okay. be honest. I think it's B. I guess that's fair. Yeah, I don't know. What do um, you think? Me? Yes. I, I said I had no idea where to rank it. So. Oh, fun. Alright, next up, this looks like the newest edition. Yep, the newest edition to the Billion Dollar Club, Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, oh. Now, you think, you think I'm going to give it an S tier. And I want to, but I think A tier is more fitting for it. Because, like... Oh... Oh, do you disagree with that? No, I, um, I have a kind of controversial take. Do you disagree with me or not? Because like, what's the controversial take? I mean, I, I think I, I agree with you. I think that this look, but at the same time, like, I don't know if it's an S tier by itself. You know, I'm not giving you like, S tier. No, I know, I know, but I feel like it's an S tier film. But I'm trying to decide if I think it's actually deserving. Of being I want to give. I like, want to give it. Movie. Yeah, I love this movie too. I want to give it an S tier. Don't 
Like, if we agree on an S tier, I'll gladly put an S tier. I feel like it's recency bias, though. That's the thing. Because, like, I feel like if you... No Way Home kind of has the same problem. If you watch the movie, like, not in theaters or whatever, like, you, you see, like, the there's just these pauses where it's, like, clearly they wanted the audience to, like, you know, applause for them for, for those moments, right? Um, so it's kind of, like... You know, it's this like an event film that you see in the theater. It's not like, but it's still a really good movie. It's like, you know, but I'm I'm not I'm just explaining why it's not at the tippity top. Um, but like, that's recency bias is like I want to put an S for recency bias. But uh, if we agree that's an S tier, I'll put an S. I don't. Maru, what do you think? You could put an A. Mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, it's funny. I think A is fair. Yeah. I do really like this movie, though. You know what? We'll put an S. We'll put an S. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's kind of sacrilegious to have that an S, but not Endgame. But yeah, okay. that's the thing. But, um... I feel like it should probably be an A, but we can... It's uh, yeah, fine. We'll, we'll, we put can an a. we'll put an A. I think that's fair. But, okay, next up... Um, what movie is this? Despicable Me 3. I've not <laughs> seen this one. Uh, thoughts? Oh, Anyone? I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie. All right, where would it go? Oh, uh, put it in the D tier for Drew. <laughs> oh. for Drew. Drew. I don't like it. Um, I don't like this movie. Drew. Yeah. I know it's a kid's film, but it's so fucking stupid <laughs> and annoying. And you. dumb, like you. Remember when Drew says, voice? I, "Wait, remember when Gru says I like it, but not the lot." What you say is, "I like it, but not at all," which makes no sense. But just go with it. No, but Dr Drew's voice is so fucking annoying. He's like, "Hi guys," it's it's like, now. "Shut up, shut up." No one. Who, who is Pete. like? Yes. The the villain was okay. They they go on a pig island for like an hour, and there's a fucking like liar reveal plot, and then Drew leaves and he comes back at the end and saves the day. It's like the most fucking cliche template fucking I don't I've know. ever seen. Yes, is this the one? You can part? ask. Yes, yes, it's his his brother's in the. Yes, it's his, his brother. It's been a while, okay? His I'm brother is in the in. He... ML, it's look, been a while since I've seen this fucking movie. And chill. Okay, ML, look, look at the look at the screen that I'm sharing. Look at where the cursor is. Um, actually, I think actually, well, I'm, I can't really do that. You know, he's playing Valorant. I think that's okay. Yeah, well, that's, I forgot about there that. There you go. That's kind of your fault. Yeah, don't Valorant yeah, and podcast. Movie. Um, okay, next up, again, I can't see what these movies are until I drag them and it's delayed. Oh, this is Furious 7. I've, like, I've seen, like, I think the fifth one, like, that's it, and I've never seen any of the other ones. Um, I think that the fifth one, that, that's apparently the really good one, uh, and that was pretty decent when I saw it, but then, like, I just didn't They're get all really much. good. I hear 9 and 10 are really bad, but, um, I haven't seen this one. Uh, Here's thoughts? Some. And anyone? Furious Seven? Have any of you guys seen it? Uh, no. I haven't seen it. All right, none of uh, the God first one going in. Haven't it. seen. Uh, next up, uh, I believe this is uh, Fate of the Furious, which is the eighth uh, Fast and Furious movie. Uh, Thoughts? Anyone? No, I haven't <laughs> seen it. Right, no one has seen. None of us has seen any of the Fast movies. Okay. Um, next up, Finding Dory. <laughs> now. Before I, I talk, like, whether or not the movie's good or not, aside, I personally believe the least necessary of the Pixar sequels, but the movie in its, uh, like, itself is pretty decent. I thought, don't like... Don't even, don't even, how can you say that when Toy Story 5 exists? Toy Story 5's not out yet. We haven't gotten that movie yet. Toy Story 4 is unnecessary, yeah, too. Toy Story 4... Toy Toy Story 4, we'll get to that later, but I think Toy Story 4 justified its existence, okay? This movie, like... It's a good movie. I like this movie. Um, 
I don't see, I, like, Finding Nemo, I never, like, you don't watch that movie and think, like, oh, yeah, they need to make a sequel to this movie where I need, Dory's I need the main more character. Dory content. I need, yeah, more, I need more Dory content. I, I, I need more Ellen, you know. Uh, okay, this was before she Fuck got canceled, Ellen. but, like, still, um... Uh, the the side characters they introduced I thought were cool. I like I I liked Hank. He was fun, but um Is that the Septopus? Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't really remember much else from this movie. Uh I don't think it's a think C tier, tier, but like D do you say I feel like it's it's weird because like I, I, I feel like this movie is as critically regarded as the movies in B tier, but I feel like it's not as good as um, minus Alice in Wonderland, which um sucks compared to all the other movies in B tier. Why well, don't you just move Alice in Wonderland to C? Because you keep saying that movie sucks. Yes, okay. I do. I mean, it doesn't suck, but I, it's just like I, I think it's funny. Uh, yeah, it's I, a great I don't movie. Even know if it's that bad, we'll, 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 we'll maybe look at the list later. But we'll, right now, we'll. Um, I don't know where to put this movie, I like this, honestly. I think it's a B tier, but in my brain, I can't like be like. It's, like, weird, because my brain can't, like, accept the fact that it's a B-tier movie. I think B-tier is good for it, though. Like, makes sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, like, a low B. Whatever you... Um, thoughts, ML? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a B. It's fine. Can we rank Despicable Me 3 again? I want to talk more shit. (laughs) We have to move on. Hey, you get to talk shit when we get to minions. Um, next up, Frozen. I think this movie's overrated. It has like two good songs, and that's it. Not even good songs necessarily. Just like catchy songs, Popular song. memorable Iconic. songs. Iconic. And the, that's it. I think it's a C tier. Personally, I part of it was like when I was a kid, like every fucking time we would watch a movie in class. Yay, it's fucking frozen. Every time. It got really annoying. And then everyone around me would sing Let It Go to, to annoy the shit out of me. Let and, it, it go. And, and it worked. So I, I guess I grew a bit of a disdain for this movie, but like, that's a, like I just don't think it's like, even beyond that, I don't think it's like a. a Molly, get the fuck out of here. Um, I don't think it's a very... Like, none of the characters are even that memorable, aside from, like, the two hey. leads and Olaf, you know? Hey. Olaf! What about that guy? I, I forgot the name of, but Exactly! That's, that's the fucking thing! You forgot his name, okay? <laughs> um, I give it a C. What do you guys think? I yeah, should get F Frozen. No, it's no, not it's an F tier. No, the F-tier. only movie that's going in there is Minions and maybe Dark of the Moon. Um, I would give it a C. Uh, objections, anyone? Fair. There's just shit in this movie that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't like the rock trolls. They're stupid. I don't like uh, fucking Hans Gruber fucking deciding, Oh, guess what? I'm gonna do this shit, even though it makes no fucking sense for me to do logically, because we love twists here at the Disney. At the Disney. It's just... uh, Also, for for, for, for that lawsuit about, like, the wrongful death thing, fuck Disney. Just wanted to say that. Um... Yeah, um, we're not going to talk about that too much, because that's not what this is about. I just wanted to say, political. fuck Disney. Let's get political. It's not even political, it's just... Um, morally... Okay. okay. Don't tell so, me that's Frozen 2. Don't, ta- it, don't it, tell it, me that's it, Frozen 2. It is Frozen 2. No! Which I have not, which Dude, I have that not, movie made a billion what? Yeah, Frozen made a billion. Those. You didn't know that? No. God damn it. Stupid. Well, I have not seen this movie, so I okay, Frozen I don't have an opinion. Better. Frozen Do 2 is better. It. I don't care for it. It's fine. Uh, you can put it next to Frozen 1. Oh, uh, they're together. <laughs> Shut up. Throw Captain Marvel in between them just to, like, ruin. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna do exactly that. There we go. Um, it's also really... <laughs> Alright. Next up. What movie is this? I cannot tell. Oh, it's oh, the first Harry Potter. You. Um, this movie, you might not have known this made a billion dollars, because actually, funny enough, I think it made a billion dollars when it was re-released, like, after the pandemic. 
So it made a billion dollars during a re-release. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, this is a good movie. I'm not like a Potterhead, and I seen this one. I've seen this one, the second one. I might have seen the third one, but this one's really good. Um, I give it an A. I give it an A. What do you guys think? That's a fair. I think that's fair. I mean, hey, Potter. Some of the things. Never mind. We You're a wizard, Harry. I said Harry. You're a hairy wizard. Um. All right. Next up is uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part Two. Not seen this I one. I haven't seen this one. How uh, none, none of us, of us seen this? None of us movie. have seen this one. Okay. Um, I've seen part one, and I know that like I've seen parts of part two. I, I feel like I've probably seen this movie, but like I don't remember. Yeah. Can't do that. That'd not be cool. All right. Next up, uh, Incredibles two. Oh this no. This one's like I understand if you want to have it like low. I enjoyed this movie, but it definitely has, like, it has a lot of issues. The villain is, like, the motivations of the villain is stupid. And also, this was, like, during the <laughs> twist villain. Surprise! It's actually, this is the villain. It's like, fuck off. Um, and the Surprise! The character you knew was a villain is a villain! <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? Well, All of you? Well, uh... <laughs> um, and, uh, it's also, like... A missed opportunity to not have the characters aged up, you know, and by having it take place right after the first movie, you kind of like regress a lot of the characters. But I, this take. is but That's this accurate. but this take. but this is a weird one for me because it's it, it's a like objectively very flawed. But it's it, I I I had fun with it. It's a I think it's a good movie. It's a flawed movie, but it's very good in my opinion. Maybe not very good, just but like, just like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> that could be the meme of the of this episode. I don't know. I, I think I, it's. I give it a B. Um, I, I feel like it's not as good as those movies objectively. And the thing is, like, this movie just needed a little more time. And I I read somewhere that they switched the release dates for this movie and Toy Story yeah, Four. Yeah, I think that is true. Yeah. And you can you can definitely see that in in the movie. It's like almost like it's almost like when you give people more time to work on stuff, it's better. It's something crazy. Video I game know. companies. Sorry. Mario Wonder. You picked like the yeah, one game. You picked the one game where like that the opposite applies. I hope you understand. I'm proving that. my point. I'm proving my point and saying if you work oh, on stuff okay, for a long okay. time. I thought you were like adding on no. to what I said. No. Why would I pick the game that didn't have a deadline as what? Well, All right, let's not, let's, let's not get off topic. Um, <laughs> I think C tier, honestly. ML, you'll be the the, the deciding. Uh, C tier. It's not incredible. Okay. No. Um, I actually, I actually am excited for the third movie because see, it is he, Brad Bird, and I think if he gets, I think if they give him a fair shake, I think it will be a good movie. You see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, even though I'm like, I like Incredibles two more than most people. I don't know. I'm just not excited for Incredibles three. I guess like it feels like, oh, they're doing this because it's safe. Because that's obviously gonna make money for them, right? But. If they don't age the characters up this time, I think, like, it's now, it's, place. now it's bigger. And I don't mean age up the characters, like, a year or two. So, like, Odash, he's, uh, he's, how old he's, is he? He's four days older now. <laughs> yeah, he's four days older. Like, maybe show him in, like, uh, like, maybe show him in high school and then Violet, like, in college or, you know, maybe Jack-Jack as, like, you know, an, an no, older kid. I know you can't have that the, because you can't have like the, the the scene of the scenes of baby Jack Jack. I get that, but like but it's, you, it's time to let that go. It's time to age up the no, characters. No, baby Jack Jack. I love Jack Jack, by the way, but I, I think it's time to let that go. Um, no, kind of like uh, kind of like this uh, segment of us talking about Incredibles too, because I feel like it's gone on for a little while. But uh, watch the age up Jack Jack, but introduce another baby. Yeah, no, they have a fourth kid now. <laughs> um... And I mean, that, that, that's like that's Zach. a way they, the Zach Zach. <laughs> that, that's yeah. a way. That's actually a way they can kind of do that if they add a fourth child. 
might be a bit of much, but hey. Um, next up, another Pixar movie, another sequel, and another, um, that's the second most recent one, Inside Out 2, which I think... I didn't watch this one because I thought it was going to be dog shit, to be honest Yeah, me you. and ML are the real ones who watch this one. Um, Zach watched this also, yeah, but with he's us. not here. But I'd say... ML, you and I saw it together. Um, Swear to God, if you I, don't, this. I don't think it's S. I don't think it's S. Okay, good, but like good, it's, good. it's kind of like this is gonna sound bizarre, but trust me, when you're a reviewer, you just it's it, it it's just a thing, you know. There's such thing as like what? a nine out of ten with no cons, you know, and I think this is a nine out of ten with no cons. Which means it's not an S tier, but is not. There's, there's really no issues I can really point out. It's, it's not cute. perfect, but like I think it's high A tier. You know, um, ML thoughts. A tier. It's cute. It's adorable. Yeah, and it's also like this is uh, I when, I when they me. announced when they announced this movie I was I kind of rolled my eyes because it felt like it was too late. Um, you know. It felt like, oh, Inside Out made a lot of money. Let's just do Inside Out 2, because that's going to make us a lot of money. But then it's like, when you think about it, Inside Out, like, lends itself. Like, they kind of set up a sequel at the end of the first movie. So I know. Yeah, I think, like, and it worked. Like, I, I, I think it was a great movie. Um, so, yeah. I remember when movies didn't set themselves up to have sequels. Those were the good days. You do not remember that. You were not alive when that happened. Um, <laughs> next up, Iron Man 3. Um, this was the first time I noticed that l Marvel movies would always come out on or like the week of my birthday. So this is the first time I saw like a Marvel movie for my birthday. So in that way, it, uh, it holds a special place in my heart. But... uh it's a flawed movie, but I don't think it's that bad. A lot of people shit on this one. I don't think it's that bad. Um, obviously, the movie's a bit of a bait and switch. There's a lot of bait and switches. The Mandarin shit is, you know, a lot of people hated oh, that. I about that. Um, the, the end of the movie, you know, it has, like, Iron Man, like, Tony Stark retiring as Iron Man just for him to come back in Age of Ultron. But He retired for, like, three seconds. Um, That's why it's called Iron Man 3. Uh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> B tier, I think. I think B tier is good. It's yeah, you know, B tier is pretty good. And it's funny because it's like, wow, all of these movies are pretty good. And it's like, yeah, they have to be good to make a billion dollars. Right? I mean, other than Despicable Me 3, uh, that there's, is just... There's a few movies that are not good that we're going to talk about. I was wondering... No, no, no. There's, there's also one in particular that we haven't mentioned yet that we'll get to. We'll get to it, but let, let's stay on topic. Um, you were saying? Uh, yeah, good movie. <laughs> ML thoughts? I, I wasn't saying anything, so I had to just say something. You kind of were, but uh, thoughts? ML? I just said Iron Man retired for three seconds. ML thoughts? It's good. I haven't seen it in ten years, but okay. Damn, it is over, over ten it. years old. Um, I'm seeing a recurring theme. Joker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know if you guys are going to agree with me here. Uh -uh. I think Joker's an S. Is that a joke? <laughs> no, it's not My a joke. Own. I'm dead serious. I think, this movie's, you? I think this movie is an S tier. I'm just going to drop it there just because I don't want to like hold on to it. But um, Because I don't want to fucking deal with this anymore. I'm, this gonna, I'm actually going to drop it in there because I don't want to fucking move it. <laughs> but no, uh, I didn't mean for like S tier to be two Marvel movies and two DC movies. But like, the Joker's like the type of movie that doesn't typically make a billion dollars, right? It's, a, it's not... Like, it's a character study on, like, what makes someone go crazy. Like, what makes someone go insane. We all, it's because we all, at least a little bit, can relate to the Joker. Um, and just... No, but have you have you seen, like, some of the posts, like, about this movie? Like, it's kind of crazy. This movie kind of, like, spawned... Um, let's, let's stay on topic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so a Slash, Batman. you, 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 have you, I don't remember if you said you've seen this movie, or if you I've haven't. I've seen, or... like, I've seen the movie, but I've seen it in, like, bits and parts, you know? Um, so. 
ML, have, I don't know. I, have you seen Joker? Yeah, I have. I have. Where would you say okay. it goes? Because I think uh, it's. Sure, you can put it in us. Sure. All right, let's go. I win. Um, next up, I this is what, if this is what I S2, think it is. is I wait, think is it's S tier. Never mind. Is this the original Jurassic Park? Yeah, S tier. This or movie's S tier. Jurassic Park. This, is, this movie is so yeah. good. It's iconic. Like, do we even need to talk about this one? It's it's, it's Jurassic ca- Park. It's classic, yeah, classic. Jurassic. It's dinosaur office, but if it was a movie. Honestly, like I don't. When, and, and I'm only saying this to like kind of segue into the next three movies because the whole Jurassic World trilogy is on here. Um, I don't oh, think. Wow, my favorite movie trilogy. It I is. I don't think Jurassic Park should have ever gotten a sequel. I don't think like it should have never gotten a sequel. And, they didn't need it. And even though Jurassic World, I think it's a decent movie. I want to give it like a low B, but what do you guys think? This is only one of the Jurassic World movies I've seen. I've not seen two or three, but uh, I've seen this one. Jurassic World is actually, I think, the second best Jurassic Park movie. Yeah, no, like, I think it is too. True. Which is kind of a weird thing to say. I actually think this movie is fairly decent. You know, it's all right. Um, yeah, we can do B. I think that's cool. That's Unless, cool with like, my producers. I'm actually not entirely sure what, like, the, like, majority the of in people the ominous, think about this I think movie. a lot of people think it's okay, but that it didn't need to be made. Yeah, that's, that, I kind of agree with that, too, you know. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree, I agree with that, I agree with that. All right, next up, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I've not seen this one. Who the I've fuck seen. are watching these movies? Well, okay, you I wonder. Did. Okay, l- let me let's uh, let me break it down for you. Slash. So, movie no. makes a billion dollars. M- we make movie. Set, we make movie. Yeah. Uh, ML, did you say you seen this movie? Yeah, I seen all the all the world ones. All right. So, what are your thoughts on uh, oh Fallen Kingdom? Where would you say? Sorry. It it's all right. Yeah, we could play like in B. B, okay. It's not where I was expecting. I will kill your. You expect me to say say C? No, I was expecting mm. to say C, but like you're the one who's seen it, so I'll I'll put it where you say it goes. Um, then we got Jurassic World Dominion, which I've also not seen. Um, slash, have you seen this one? I would not taint my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ML. Uh, I do know. From what, from what I know, they got, like, the cast of the original characters back, but... Oh, nostalgia the, pandering. But the movie's about locusts. Um, that's from, that's what I know. What? That, yeah, that's what I was told. ML, what are your thoughts on, the? where would you say Dominion goes? Uh, B again. Say B. B? Oh, you fucking... Yeah, or C, yeah, fuck it, C. Okay, C. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I wish I saw these movies. Next up, Lord Maybe. of the Rings. I think this is Return of the King, right? I think that one. Yes, yes. I think S. I haven't seen any of them, so... I agree, but, like, I'm... I don't know. I uh, agree, but... It's weird to me because I think all the Lord of the Rings movies are, like, cinematic, like, objectively cinematic masterpieces, but, like, they all kind of are a blur to me. Like, they all kind of blend together. You know, th- like I feel like they work better if you watch all three of them in a row, which is yeah, kind of like nuts is, to do. Yeah, that's like your entire day, basically. That's your whole life. <laughs> yeah, um, but no, they, you like, see it and then you ascend after. It's like I I joke about how uh, I don't joke. It's serious. I I say that Space Jam is the most epic movie of all time, but no seriousness. You want to talk about an epic movie? Like this movie's epic, just like Endgame. No, we're like, talking, you guys won't, won't just won't like Jurassic Park me. Dominion. But yeah, do we have any? Uh, oh yeah. Any takers? Any uh, a- any objections over uh, Lord of the Rings and S tier? No, I don't. All and right. Mara Mole has not seen the movie. I oh. can't wait for um, Jurassic World to become Jurassic. 
and then Jurassic Galaxy. They're making like another Jurassic, Jurassic movie. Universe. They're making another Jurassic movie, uh, but it's like a low budget movie, from what I heard. So it would probably could be, be better than uh, actually be good. Yeah. Um. Next movie. Um. Is... Come on. Unfucking freeze. Hello. What movie is That's this? Nice. If you ask him nice, maybe. Oh, it's the Hobbit. The Hobbit. Um. Uh, I think it's. Oh, I forget which one this was, but all the uh, this just is the like, first one. I think so. Yeah. Um. I, I've seen the Hobbit movies. I remember going to the theater and seeing them. Uh, but these were like. <laughs> it's so weird because they took like three with Lord of the Rings. They took three mo three books, and adapted each book into a movie. With the Hobbit, they took like. The, the they took like a section of a book and split it into three movies. That's it's, not even. Thanks. That's not even. You don't even understand how bad it is. Yeah. No. I, I know. I never read the books. The books, by the way. So like, no, I, 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 mean, I bet like, it's worse if you've re read the books. I don't. No, like. I don't remember anything. No, this movie is. Okay, this movie is actually good. Like, this stop good. your trolling. The other, the other two are not good, and the last one is particularly horrible because um, the the fun fact that I was told about um, third movie, which is the whole epic battle, is that literally in the Hobbit book that is like two sentences, and it's yeah. like Bilbo got knocked out, and then they had a huge battle that Bilbo didn't remember anything from. And I feel like this movie is decent. It's not nearly as epic as Lord of the Rings. I've heard people call this Jam. Lord of the Rings light. Yeah. Which I think is a little unfair. But, you know, of course you're going to get compared to that. I feel like this is either very low A tier or high B tier. Oh, Mar, or Mar someone just messaged me on the Discord. Oh, that's me. Um... Uh, personally, no, like, I, I, okay, I believe you that this one's good. I mean, this one made, like, a billion dollars, so, like, you know, you, like, most of these movies are good that we're ranking, so that must mean something, but, like, uh, from the, from the trilogy, like, I'm sure, I bet this one's good. I just don't remember much. I don't, really, I can't even tell you the name of a single character other than Bilbo, uh, Gollum, Bilbo. and Gandalf. Other than those three, and they were, and then the one guy yeah, that looked can, like the Undertaker. I don't even. Remember I can his name. name every Thor, I single. I can name every dwarf that there is. All right, where are we putting this one? I think this one's the good one. So. I feel like you could. I feel like B top of B tier feels more correct, but I feel like this could be A tier, but very low. I just, put, B. In, I just put in between the two Avatar movies. I'm gonna what is it with us and? I just think that's funny. All right, but it's Minions time. Uh, this no, movie, not the Minions. This movie, I think, is D. Uh, I think this might be F. Like I'm being dead serious. I. Okay, I like, like the Min. I've actually not seen this movie in a full sitting, so like you, pro you're probably more qualified uh, for me to talk about. Oh it yeah, let me. me go get my fucking credentials to talk about Shut the up. Minions movie. The problem is, like, mm. do you think this is as bad as, like, Transformers and Rise of Skywalker oh. and, you know, movies oh, I like do. that? Okay, well, oh, I we'll, do. we'll put an F tier. And I'll explain, I will explain exactly why. Alright, don't, I mean, don't, don't spend too very, long. Don't spend too long Alright, it's the very because. simple reason that you took the worst part of a movie and then made it the entire movie. It's literally just banana. It's like that for like an hour and a half. Um, yeah. yeah, it is obnoxious. Yeah. Thank you. You're not welcome. He complimented my impression. This pirates, this is pirates, right? Arg. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Arg, matey. I think this is. Dead Man's Chest, I don't the second remember. second one, I, this is the second one. Um, I've... I have okay. seen these movies, but they're not, like... I saw them a long-ass time ago. They're not... They're, they're all kind of 
I don't know. I, I, I don't think I have a proper, like, I don't think I can make an opinion. Hot take. Hot take. Where hot would this go? Pocket. Where would this movie go? <clears throat> I feel like... I think both this... I think this movie... Eh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I think this is B tier. My heart wants to put it in A tier, just because of... Yep. Uh, I feel like it's a very, really cool concept. I like the way the story intersects. Like all, there are three parties in the movie, and none of them can really get what they want. You know, mm-hmm. um, Davy Jones is fucking awesome, and the CGI on him is incredible. It still holds up. All right. Still. ML, you have thoughts on this uh, one? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen these Pirates of the Caribbean song. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, next up is that's, another. That's you, mother. It's another pirates movie. Um, I haven't seen this one. I, I like. I really feel like the. I really feel like the third one should be on here, but I guess not. Is this the first one? This is the fourth one. Oh, the, the fourth first one, one didn't make a billion. At least I don't think so. Hold on. No, no, the fourth. Like it was. If this is the fourth one, then this one and the second one. Um. Cause I, 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 these are all the movies that made a billion dollars. Like, there's 55 movies, and I counted. There's 55 in here, so. You're 55. So, are we just gonna put this in? Haven't seen. Probably. All right. Um. Wait, hold on. What movie is this? Oh yes. It's. Um. This one. This movie is. Strange on Stranger Tides. That's that's this movie. Uh, I haven't seen this one. No, I haven't okay. seen it either. I've played the Lego levels on Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. If that counts. No, it doesn't. Next up, Skyfall, the one and only James Bond movie on the list. Um, I haven't seen this one. Have any of you? What's it called? Skyfall. Oh uh, no, I haven't seen it. Slash. Low key, I have. Where yeah. we go? Oh uh, no. Um, I kind of feel like S tier. It's really? a really good movie. Okay. It's I'll, really good. We'll drop it in S tier. I don't like. Um. Mm, I feel kind of weird about putting a movie in S tier that neither of you guys have seen, but it is. No, a really no, good no. Movie. If you think it's S tier, you're the one guy who's seen it. So. I'm the one. I'm the one. You're, yeah. You're, you're the one. A uh, two, one. All right. Anyways, uh, Alice in Wonderland. We should move that down. Move it to the bottom of B. For now. Yeah. Next up, um, Minions. Three. We got uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home. This is a good movie. I remember being really high on it when it first came out, but like as time goes on, you realize that this is still a good movie. I think, but it's flawed. You know. You, you like D-tier? Like D tier? No, it's, I'm not putting in D. Um, like it, it, like it has like Mysterio is cool and all, but like it's another villain who's just like I don't like Tony Stark. You know, um, there's also like a scene where like an adult woman like tells a a teenager to take off all his clothes. Just rever- re- reverse the sexes, you know. It's a little weird, I'll just say. Um, the The plot of the movie is a little uh, odd as well, but it's a fun time. Uh, if a bit flawed, I'd give it a B. What do you guys think? Uh, I'll give it a B, yeah. This Flash? movie's overrated. I, yeah, no, I don't hate it. I, people are calling it... People no, say it. it's a bad movie. It's not a bad movie. It There are flaws, but I don't think it's a bad movie. So... What do you think? So, well, well, me and ML agreed on B, so, I mean, majority rules, but... What yeah. if I say up and drag it down to C? Well, majority rules, so... Um, yeah, fuck you. Fuck yourself. Spider-Man No Way Home, I think, is about as good as Deadpool and Wolverine. It, Fair. It, That's where you're wrong. Oh. Okay, explain yourself. <laughs> Talk to a... Uh, uh, you're fired. <laughs> He's fired. You're fired for not explaining yourself 
and responding with Hawk Tua. So, um, so me and ML agree that this is no. Okay, look, I remember like you probably remember this. Remember me being like, I was gloating about this movie because like it was just like such a like it it, it was what's the word. It was just so awesome, for lack of a better term, to see Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire back, you know? Like... It's kind of like... I'm oh, sorry. You can see no, I was going to say, when I was a child, like, before I really, like... The, the, the MCU did, hadn't really gotten going yet. So I was... Watch, I watched a lot of, like, the X-Men movies and a lot of the Sam Raimi and, to, and uh, Amazing Spider-Man movies, uh, which is why both these movies I really enjoyed, Deadpool and Wolverine and No Way Home. Um, but, like, as movies, like, they're great, like, I think 8, 9 out of 10 movies. But, um, they're not S-tier. I don't think they're S-tier. And, uh, and, and No Way Home in particular, like, yeah, the setup is very odd, I'll just say. But it's all, it's, it's all, it's worth it in the end, I feel. Um, thoughts, anybody? ML, you se- you seem to agree with me? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. It seems kind of, it's, uh, it feels kind of like, I think you, we said this when we made, like, a spoiler talk, like, on your, on your, on the me on one of the Meekast channels. You the said it's kind of, cast. Shut up. Uh, was a of the, the Spider-Man, which I def, kind of, definitely kind of is, in a way. Say it again? Yeah, I wish I could. I so, wish it's I like a love letter to Spider-Man. Yeah, it is a love letter to Spider-Man. Yeah, it would be cool, you know, see, like, all, like, all the Spider-Mans yeah, there. The uh, I like do something different. Yeah, so it was really Bro, cool I can fucking that. hear Valorant like perfectly. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it is a love letter to Spider Man. Slash, yeah, you've been awfully quiet. Um, oh, it's because I don't want to upset people. All right. Well, you've already been overruled anyway. So, uh, fuck you. <laughs> um, next up, if we unfreeze, I. Oh, we're into Star Wars now. Uh, episode 1, The Phantom oh, Menace. Now, no. this movie... Um, again, it's kind of like uh, the first Harry Potter movie. This movie, I don't think... Uh, I think it originally didn't make a billion dollars. Like, Oh, no, it did. Oh, it did? It did. Oh, uh, this came out EPX, the same... This is... This came out this the same... This is Star Wars. No, but, like, I, I know the first billion-dollar movie was Titanic, which ca- I think came out the same year, right? Came out in 99... Yeah, this, so did this. So, I guess that uh, they, I guess both of them made. No, it. Titanic came out in '97. Ah, uh, okay, that shit. makes sense. Okay, everyone, be, all the Star Wars fans were like, "Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna break Titanic," and then they didn't. Titanic. But it got close. It, it was, if Titanic was the first movie to make a billion, this was the second movie to make a billion. Um, uh, sure. Jurassic uh, Jurassic Park, but yeah. Did that. But did that, that movie came out before Titanic? I know it did, but like I, I thought it made a billion because of re-releases. Oh, that's possible. You know yeah. what? Let's just stop this conversation. Yeah. Either way, um, Phantom Menace. This movie was like the butt end of jokes for a while, but then people like I guess people like who grew up with the prequels have like come to bat for it, and there is some good stuff. I, I I'm I'm going to say that the prequel trilogy, like. The acting and some of, like, the, like, dialogue is laughable, but, like, when you look at the storytelling, it's fucking amazing. And, you know, you get the pod racing scene, which is amazing. You get that Darth Maul fight, which is legendary. Um, but it's not the best movie in the world, we'll just say. Uh, Jar Jar, anyone? Uh... Jar Jar um, is not that bad. He's not that bad, but like he's not. He's he shouldn't be like with the main characters of the movie for like a good portion of the movie, you know. But, Misa Jar Jar Binks. So I'd say, um, <clears throat> I uh, oh, spoiler alert. Okay, you gotta fuck ML. You gotta put on some headphones or some shit. Like I can perfectly Mo- hear Valorant. But, um, uh, what was I, I don't, I don't, spoiler, I don't think this is the worst Star Wars movie that's on this list, but, um, I'd give it a C. What do you guys think? Mm. Slash is a big Star Wars fan, uh, Mm. so, and he has his opinions on this franchise, so, 
I'm so the, th the, the first thing that I think is that Alice in Wonderland should be in a C tier. Um, the second thing that I think is that I feel like this movie is too bad structurally to just be next. I feel like Frozen is a better movie. I feel like Captain Marvel is a better movie. You have not seen Captain Even, Marvel. What are you talking about? Seen parts of it. Oh, and okay. I've seen parts of Incre I've seen Incredibles too. I think it's a better movie. I just like don't think it's very good, and I, I really I, don't want to put it. I think it, you're true. I, I think you're you, you're true. I really, <laughs> I, I really don't want to put it next to Minion Boy, though. Is the problem? <laughs> it's not. We'll put in D. We'll put in D. That is Minion Boy. Who uh, is Minion, Minion Boy? Boy? I I really like. I think this movie is really underrated in a lot of how about ways. This? How about this? How about this? No, it's fine. You don't need to. It's fine. It will just ruin the tier list. Okay. Let's just. I have to I, live the, the, with the, it. the more I think about it, I agree that like the movies in C tier are probably better than the Phantom Menace. But I I see myself Other going than, back to the Phantom Menace more than the move than. I literally watched. In C. Yeah, I watched this movie like a week ago, so it's fresh in my mind. Oh my god, Attack of the Clones is so much worse though. Oh no, no, it is. Oh worse. my god, it is worse. And that it's movie not, it's is not so on bad. Here. It's not on here, so we don't have to talk about it, but, yeah, no, that movie's worse. But, yeah, um, moving on to, uh, uh, we're, 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 we, I, we broke it. I broke it. Okay, we're, we're frozen. The, look at the cursor, everybody. Okay, now we're good. Um, should be, at least. Next up, uh, this is what I believe it is. I believe it's The Force Awakens. Um, yeah. Okay, bro. Do you you guys remember when this movie was coming out? It was massive, right? Like this was insane. Um and with time, people have soured on this movie because of what it amounted to and it was basically just a movie of a bunch of setup that never went anywhere, so it's kind of like hard to really like but as a movie, I think it's a perfectly fine movie. It's a little overhated, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I think... Mm, I don't know where to rank it. I think it's either A or B, but I don't know. What are your, what are your opinions, Slash? Slash? Okay. All right, uh, we're back. Um, a little Yo. weird thing happened, uh, but we're back. A weird thing so, called Dick scored. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah. I I don't know where to put uh, Force Awakens A or B, but uh, slash. What do you think about this movie? Um. Honestly, I think this movie is pretty good. To be real with you, uh, people say it's literally just a New Hope again kind of can see why they would say that a little bit like i understand like finn is um what whoever you know but at the same time i feel like it is different enough to be a fairly decent movie and i i mean i think it's really good seeing han seeing um it says lul um seeing chewbacca see 3po Boys, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's a pretty good movie. I, there, I have some problems with it, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's Barbie. I mean, B tier. I don't think it's Barbie logo. Okay. So I, I will take it in A tier. Why not? All right, ML. I don't think I've ever seen it. You know. Oh, you fucking Valorant loser. Okay. Uh, we'll keep it in A. Um, ho 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 The Last Jedi. Bro, me and Slash, if you guys don't know, me and Slash oh, would, like, no. debate it on this movie so much. And then The Rise of Skywalker came out, and I think both of us, I think it's fair to say both of us were like, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. There is, there is another. Yeah, but, um, look, okay. Over time, you realize... This movie, okay. 
This movie has a lot of issues. They wasted Snoke, you know. They had, like, the Canto Bite stuff could have been cut out completely and the movie could have been shorter. Rose was, like, why was she there? Especially at the end where she sacrificed herself to stop Finn from sac sacrificing himself to save the day. Like, what the fuck? Um, but... I think it's a good movie because it has some really good ideas that the next really? movie completely just shattered. Um, it's not a perfect movie. I think my original review, I was like really high on it. I might have even given it like a 10 out of 10 or some shit. Um, that was no way. <laughs> that, was, that, was my, that was one of my first movie reviews ever. Um, I've come a long way, I like to believe. So... Um, it's not an A tier, it's a B tier in my personal opinion, slash where I mean, we have to agree on something, but uh, where would you say it goes? I think C tier, to be honest with you. Like, I'm trying to think, objectively, we're rating them as movies, not as, you know, the seventh or eighth part in the trilogy how is it as a movie can you like understand it without watching the others can you is it a decent plot line you know that type of shit i just think there's a lot of really unnecessary humor i think there's so much necessary shit in this movie like why did Luke need to drink the green milk? Why did Luke throw the lightsaber away? Why did Canto Bite exist? I, I I agree that... I actually disagree. I think Rose was a fine character. I just think that they, like... The way that she was written was, like, kind of shit, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I meant. But I think it's a decent idea for a character. It is a just decent like, idea for a character. Her being, like... Oh, this is all the bad people in the galaxy. This is why we're fighting for. It's just, like, stupid. It's like, we're not children. And I feel like Finn kind of should have died, Loki. Like, I that love John. Like, that would have been very, like, a, ve like a very emotional the... moment if, like, he died. Right? Like, that would have been, yeah. like, a great character moment. But then... I also think that Luke in this movie is, uh, movie is kind of dog shit and i just yeah, feel I like he's that. not characterized correctly oh come on dpx rollo L like um uh, like explain to me how you think he's characterized correctly yeah i'm all shut up you haven't <laughs> seen this movie where'd you come from <laughs> <laughs> the thing is like you get luke it's he's uh, you... Sorry, you know, I told you to do something and yeah. I decided that you shouldn't do something because it's stupid. Just no, no, I'm sorry, go. You get Luke, who, he's broken and he's, you know, what's the word? I guess recovering? I don't fucking know. He's like, he's broken. He's a, he's a broken old, he's a broken old man whose glory days are behind him. I get maybe you don't want to see Luke Skywalker characterized this way, but like, you know, I feel like it's just natural for when you. Exp I, I get like it's a little problematic that he tried to kill Ben. That I wouldn't have done. A little. Okay. Do you know what an opinion is, dude? Like. No, I'm sorry. Why do you think it's only a little problematic for I, him I to just, try to I kill his fucking, nephew? I just fucking say a little, okay? Do you don't need to like nitpick that. I'm just saying, this is a good movie. I Luke, I thought, was done, not perfectly, but he wasn't, like, done absolutely... It's not like a spit in the face or anything like that, I feel. Um, there's definitely issues. Um, Rise of Skywalker is a million times worse, though. I'm giving this a B. Uh, Slash gives it a C. And we can't agree, bars, but... Um, uh, uh, ML, have you seen this movie? What, what's it called? Last Jedi. No, it's not even. Um, just uh, um, I haven't seen it. Just, 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 I know you haven't seen it, but like Slash and I are never gonna agree on anything with this movie. So you just decide B or C, and we'll move on. I'm gonna be boring. What's up? Yeah, if that's 
me a flip a coin if that's cool. All right, flip a coin. Bruh. So we can move on. Well, if you... Mm. He's flipping a coin. It's a 50-50. He doesn't deserve a chance. Okay, I'm using, Cana I'm using a Canadian coin. I mean, just, can we just leave it in B and go to the next movie for now and just throw that in like F tier real quick? Well, hold on. I got it. Got it. Okay, I'm going to put it. The retention is dying. Yeah, hold on. Oh my god, just flip the coin, dude. So, <laughs> Rise of Skywalker. Uh, that movie sucks. I got it. I got it. I got it. The coin has spoken. It said heads. What does that mean? It means B tier. Oh. Okay, we're moving on. Um, yeah, no, it means it doesn't. B. Oh my god, you're fucking. Fine, fine. It means that. fucking C tier. We're moving on. That's yeah, um, what. Yay. Alright, Rise of Skywalker F. -tier. F. This movie's a jumbled mess. I remember when we ranked the Star Wars movies in a tier list video like a few years ago. I said it's a jumbled mess, but it's not an F tier. It's an F tier. I I personally believe this is the worst theatrically released Star Wars movie. I think it's worse than Attack of the Clones. At least Attack of the Clones is like a coherent film, you know. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's, it, okay, okay. Attack of the Clones doesn't make you feel like shit for being a Star Wars fan. This one's like, you know, I, I, why did I ever like give give this trilogy a chance you know if you're just gonna like end it like this and like n clearly not have a plan you know at least like attack of the clones was like the middle chapter of a trilogy of a coherent trilogy that had a plan like this just shows they didn't have a plan you know and i thought like there was potential with bringing back palpatine but like the way they did it like somehow Palpatine has returned. I think that sums up the entire fucking movie in its quality, you know? Um, That's one of my favorite lines ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fucking funny. So, can we all agree that Rise of Skywalker is an F tier? Right next to Minions. That's fair, I guess. Yeah. Alright, next up, probably the best Disney Star Wars movie. Um, in my opinion, but I don't know if uh, that's that controversial of a take. It's Rogue one? one. Yep, Rogue uh, One. People. What it was either going to be Rogue One people... or Solo, and we know it's not Solo. <laughs> people so. hate this movie, <clears throat> and then people love this movie, I and there is no really in between. Good. No one thinks this movie is all right. Ever, it's either and it's I'm... the greatest okay. thing <clears throat> ever. I'm one of the people who don't think it's all right. I think it's really good. I don't think it's like the... I, 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 it's not S tier. I'm not going to put an S tier. But I think it's an A. That's me. What do you guys think? The thing is, it's like, if you watch, I think, just the Scarif stuff, I feel like that's S tier. Like, if you watch from when they invade Scarif to the end of the movie, it's like... It's, it's very, very good. I feel like some of the other stuff takes it down a little bit. I think it's probably A tier. I agree with your assessment if that's where you put it. Yeah, I'm putting it there. And even if you disagree, I let you have Last Jedi. So, um, next up, the Super Mario Bros. movie. The Super Mario movie. The Mario's, the the Luigi's, the Peach, the okay. Now, Jack Black. now here's the here's the thing with this movie. I remember like a lot of people like were upset that it was getting low review scores before it came out and that annoyed the shit out of me because you're like you're white knighting a movie you haven't seen yet here's the thing like if you're not a mario fan this is not a good movie if you are a mario fan this is a hell of a fun time objectively as a movie it's not that good but it's a fun time if you for the audience that this movie's made for whether it be kids i'm sure kids love this movie or for mario fans i think this Babies? movie is them too shut up i think this movie is um like a treat because this movie's great Yummy. if you're a mario fan it's a great mario yeah th th okay it's a great mario movie a movie yeah, overall it's not that good but it's a great mario movie 
Uh, to be fair, it's not a very high bar, but I'd give oh. it. It's not an A tier. It's not. It's not higher than B. I'm honestly not even sure if it is a B. If I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen this movie objectively. I watched it as a fan, and I really enjoyed it. But I, I, I tried not to like worry about the flaws and stuff. It's oh, no, probably me too. B tier. Yeah, I'll give it a B. ML. Doesn't matter, loser. I'm in this movie, so you know. You're in this movie. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, uh, the people watching don't know your real name though, so uh, they're not gonna get that joke. But way to dox him. Well, I mean, his, 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 his name could be anything. Any Marvel this character. What I think it is. It's the Lion King. Um, I remember hating this movie when I saw it because it's just like, why is this Did. a movie? Why is it like, wh why are, it's, you made a scene by scene remake of The Lion King, a fucking masterpiece of a movie that doesn't fucking need a remake, and the characters don't emote at all, uh, but again. This movie is so, it's so funny to me, because all of the characters are animated, and all of the sets are probably green screened, so just like, w it's literally just an animated movie that's, that was yeah, made to be a live action recreation of something. I think they modeled the lions off, like they took real lions and modeled them. Oh, they're off. real. They're real lions. They they they're modeled after real lions. But like, but, they're, but they didn't use it, real lions on set, you know, because there was no set. Oh, they should have. Um, they should have. Um, I think like you see. Oh my. My opinion on this back in the day was overblown. It's not it's not like the worst movie of all time or anything like that. I never said it was the worst movie ever made, but it's it's not a very good movie, and especially now it's like why like at the time like it looked really good, I'll admit it. It looked really good. So at the time, it's almost like Avatar. That movie did really well because it looked really good. Um that at least that's one of the reasons why this movie did really well because it was definitely like unique to see a movie like this but now that it's been out for a while it's like why would you ever watch this like if you you're on disney plus you have a choice to either watch this or to watch the original the lion king shut up why would you ever watch this so i think it's a d but at the same time is it as bad as uh phantom medicine yeah i think it's as I, bad. It. I think it i think it is now I'm saying, I said that it's not, like, as bad as I originally thought it was, because I originally thought it would be an F tier. It's not an F tier. It's a D tier. Um, next up, I have no idea what movie this is. And now oh, it's, uh, we'll always... Molly, get the fuck out of here. It's, a uh, Titanic. Um, the first billion dollar movie. Uh, I... I've seen this movie once. And I remember not liking it, but then again, I was a kid, so this type of movie I wasn't no. gonna like anyways. But uh, it's an objectively like good movie. You... But yeah, I don't draw think I can... me like one of your Dutch girls. <laughs> um, sketch me like one of your Norwegian. Okay, emails. so I don't think I can give a proper like take on this movie. Uh, slash, floors yours. I haven't seen this movie in a minute. It. Oh, in a minute. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is a really decent. Like, uh, this is an iconic movie that, like, we clearly just don't have the um. I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's really, it's really well done in some regards, and then in some other regards, it's just like, oh my god, this movie is so long. Um, yeah. And then uh, the, 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 there was room on the door. There was room on the door. I feel like it's either A or B. Fucking, I'll say A. It's just iconic. Yeah, I, I don't. And the practical yeah. effects are really cool. I don't what? I don't understand. Like, what? I, I I wasn't around at the time, so you weren't so, alive. I. Why was this the first billion dollar movie? It's a great question. <laughs> like, yeah, I just want to know that. Um, ML. It's like if I made a, if I made a movie about a tragedy, I don't think it'd do a billion dollars. Maybe uh, for like the... Leonardo DiCaprio was like a heartthrob back then, so maybe that was. But to, to make a billion, I don't know. Um, That's like one billion babies. 
Uh, ML, any thoughts on Titanic? Move, move, move. Fast, move. I'll give it an A. Yeah, A. All right. Next up. What is this movie? What movie? What movie? You watch and movie? What is this movie? Mm-hmm. Movie? Oh, Top Gun Maverick. Um, S tier. I think S, honestly. Like genuinely. I was kidding, but I. No, no, I, that I think answer. S. Have you seen it, Slash? Oh, baby. Because, like, I don't. S. I don't think. Um, I think it's another like nine out of ten with no flaws, with or no cons. I should say, kind of like Inside Out two, but like. I think it's a better movie than Inside Out 2. And and it like it it's just a fun time at the movies. They don't really they don't they have the choice of not naming they don't even like name the bad guy. They don't show their face. Uh I I found the characters all f- fun and uh Maverick himself uh, gets to literally uh right on right off into the sunset. And now there are rumors of a third movie. Which I don't think they should do. At least not with Tom Cruise. That's but. not surprising. Yeah, I, I'd i say it's an S. Thoughts, anybody? Oh, I could take that explanation. Um, ML, thoughts? Oh, but the the, 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 the dogfight sequences are just, like, wow. They are, oh, I they, they are amazing. Um, like, how do they get that- these dogs up here? This one kind of surprised me that it made a billion. By the way, like I was sorry, su- Mo. I was shocked uh, to see like just how excited people were for this movie. But yeah, I guess Top Gun just stood the test of time. So yeah, um, like Alice in Wonderland. Mo, <laughs> what were you gonna say? Sorry. No, you just said you had fun. Uh, okay. Um, Toy Story three. I think uh, another S tier. Uh, Toy Story 3? That movie would be so good. S tier, I think. It, like, and this, this... What? This movie is why I don't like the fourth one. We'll and get to, I'm sure we'll, you... We'll, we'll get to that. But let's, talk about, let's, let's talk about like, 3. We'll get to that. But, um... Let's talk about that. Uh, you know, it, it, like, it's a perfect conclusion to it. I, I believe Trilogy... Uh, tril- I was going to call the... I was gonna call it a trilogy. I believe Toy Story should just been a trilogy, but um, because this movie like ended things perfectly, like you can't ask for a more perfect ending to a trilogy than this, you know. And it, it, like it had like grown men crying, you know. Like I remember going to the movies with my dad and my aunt w- to see this movie when it came out, and they were like they were bawling, you know, like legit. So and LeBron James. Um. So, yeah, perfect movie, perfect conclusion, perfect like one of Pixar's best movies. Uh, you can maybe argue their best movie. Um, anyone thoughts? <clears throat> it's, it's, Toy Story three. All right, ML. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's he's in, in, in he's engaging someone in Valorant right now. We can't disturb him. All right. Next up, this is gonna start a little debate. Toy Story Four. Look, look, look. Unnecessary. I'm not looking. My eyes are closed. Unnecessary. Yeah. Unnecessary. They should have left it alone after three. But I feel like Toy Story Three like rounded out the uh, like Andy's arc. But Toy Story 4 did a great job rounding out Woody's arc. Plus, the movie looks really good. I think uh, it's the funniest of the Toy Story f- movies. Maybe not the funniest, but one no. of the funnier of the Pixar movies. Um, and uh, I think the relationship between uh, Woody and Bo Peep uh, was very entertaining. Um, not a necessary movie. I would have honestly preferred... Like, just for the sake of the trilogy, just to keep it as a trilogy. And I'm not excited for the fifth one, because what are they going to do in that one? You know? Oh, you haven't heard what they're going to do? Oh, no, I heard. Woody's coming <laughs> back and meeting with the with the other toys again. So, undoing what this movie did, 
So, I, but this movie, I think, is a good movie. I'm gonna, you know what, I don't give a shit, fuck you, I, I think it's A tier, and I know you're not gonna agree with me on that, Slash, but I'm gonna say A tier. Now, Slash, what's your, uh, what do you think? It's alright, I don't know, I didn't think that the movie was that funny or that good, and I think that it's probably the laziest way that you could probably tell the story. It's like, oh, you know, we need a movie. Everyone is with this new owner. What can we do? Well, we'll just give Woody the exact same arc that we did in the first movie worse. Because that really is what all this movie is. It's about Woody it's about Woody going through kind of the same arc and finding a new purpose like like he did before. And, um, I don't know. I just think, you know, the people who say that, right, um, that, um, the fucking seventh Star Wars movie is the fourth Star Wars movie are, are wrong. That's really what this movie and, um, Toy Story 1 are, I think. Okay. Um, I think, I don't think it's horrible. I think it's probably B tier. Oh, B tier. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll come to terms with the B tier. I thought you were gonna go for like C, which I was no. like gonna like fight you. That's on that, but that's I'll, I'll, that's I'll, that's, that's I'll last B. Jedi exclusive. I'll I'll agree with B. Um, next up, uh, we got the Transformers movies. Which one is? I think this is dark. Is this dark of the moon? I'm not dropping yeah, it in F tier. This is uh, no no no. Leave it there. But uh oh no no. This is Age of Extinction. I believe. Um, I thought you, thought you said they were in order. I still have Mark Wahlberg, I believe. I love Wahlbergers. This is. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to look at which one this is. Just you know, this is Age of Extinction. Um, look, all the Transformers movies. You've seen one of them. You've seen them all. I, the second or the first one's really good. Um, okay. But after that, they just took a fucking nosedive. It's like, and people are just so over this franchise now. Um, no, we need more. Age of the Extinction. animated one that makes, looks cool. Oh no, that that does look cool. Uh, but Age of Extinction is that F or is it not? I think it's probably D. like D. D. I don't know. I D. haven't seen D. this movie all the way through. All right, well, ML says I, D. So D is nuts. Probably C tier, but whatever. I don't care. Um, Dark of the Moon. This F. is D, okay. garbage. This is uh, do you say A? I said D, idiot. Oh, okay. It's F tier, I'm sorry. Yeah, F. Uh, um Have you seen the racist Transformers? Talking to me or ML? I don't care. Cause I have. Yeah, that's not why fun. it's F. That's got, why it's F ra- racism. I, I, like I I find it like it's so funny that like I think when, like, the fifth movie was coming out, okay. Michael Bay literally said, like, I, I don't care if it's... It doesn't matter if it's a bad movie. You guys are still gonna go see it anyways. And then that's when people were like, wait a second. Why are we seeing these movies? We're not gonna see this movie. And then that movie bombed, and now people are just over this franchise. So... Bumblebee was good. You see, I believe that. Like, I've heard that, and I believe people when they say that. I just don't care. I just don't care to see it because I'm just over this franchise. Uh, although I do want to see the animated one. That does look good. But, um, yeah. Last but certainly not least, Zootopia, which I think is an easy A, if not S. But, um, what do you guys think? Breaking Bad. Lol. All right, what do you guys think? Come on, we're almost done. It is fine. Let's just take as long as possible. Alright, um, I'm throwing it in S tier because... Ah, no, it's not, oh, it's not S tier. It's not S tier. Um, okay. A. Um, it's, That's... Whatever. I mean, I think it's B, but we'll, I'll give you this one. Yeah, I let you have Last Jedi, alright? Um, that's, uh, that's not something you should have had to let me do. Well, 
<laughs> we're not we're not having this conversation about Last Jedi. <laughs> we're gonna be here like we could do an entire episode of us debating Last Jedi, but I don't think anyone's gonna care at this point. The movie's been out for like um, like eight years. But that's our tier list of um of billion dollar movies, you know. Um I- I'd still a little uh annoyed that Stupid. Civil War and Endgame are in A tier. Um, Cry about it. But fuck you. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> but um, that's our tier list. What do you guys think? Uh, leave a, a comment down below of what you would do differently, and uh, you'd be wrong. Uh, anyways, um, slash. Uh, Want to plug if they anything? Make, what if they make the exa- Oh no! No plugs. No outlets. All right. Um, ML. Want anything you want to plug? Subscribe to Dumpling Studios. All right, and subscribe to me, DPX Solo, on YouTube. I'm uh, on Twitter. 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 Not X. Twitter. So Twitter, X. Twitch, Instagram, uh, all DPX Solo. Uh, join the MeCast Discord server. If you want to see my reviews for some of these movies, like some written reviews for some of these movies, uh, go on my letterbox. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Chill with the MeCast, whenever that is. Bye!